Hello and welcome to my channel, Shirl's Divine Styling. I thought today I would talk about my orchids and styling them because we often talk about our orchids, um, about how beautiful they are, what kind they are and all of this, but we don't always talk about how we're going to put them in our homes. And um, yes, we can have a convenient window sill and just line them all up there, or we can have a shelf and do the same thing. But it's nice sometimes just to, especially when they're flowering, to give them a little extra respect. I'm sure we all give them respect, but a little extra respect and give them something to make them look a little bit more special. So I've got some uh, of mine here that are actually flowering at the moment, my Phalaenopsis. Um, and I've put a couple on the windowsill. Um, these are quite tall, absolutely beautiful, full of flowers right now. And this one has still got buds on it, it's just amazing. I just can't believe how, how long she's been going. It's been a good few months now. Um, and then there's this one here. I'm going to put close-ups so you can see the flowers. Um, and I thought I'd put the two on either side with perhaps an ornament in the centre on the windowsill. A sort of symmetry. <laughs> symmetry. symmetry. Um, and then here, uh, something tall with uh, a nice vibrant look to it. A uh, couple of shorter ones and another flowered one there with something gold around it. And on the white surfaces, they always look so nice, don't they? Here I have my Vanda, um, my Bangkok uh, Sunset, and uh, my Nelly Isla, who's here. Um, and uh, she's just looking really lush right now. I think she'll be flowering soon. So that's one way of doing your window. Obviously, this is a radiator, of course, but at this time of the year, we're in the late spring now, we're just not putting them on anymore, and it's just so warm. Obviously, if you do put them on, I would move move your orchids, any of your uh, plants, that it would be a good idea. That's what I do anyway. Um, but most of the time, we're just not using it anymore, the radiator, so we, we can arrange things. So this is one arrangement. Um, these are nest of tables, they step down, so that looks quite nice I thought. Um, and so now I'm going to show you another one, I will be back in a moment. I'm back, that was quick, and here I thought I'd try something different. I thought I'd put um, a planter. And uh, it's just an ordinary planter. It's got quite a nice um, look about it. Um, I suppose I could do a close-up shot soon. Um, it's quite sort of like a lacy lattice type of effect there at the front. So you could find something like this or something similar. And um, put some of your orchids in there. That can look really nice uh, in a window either with something on each side or, or, or not. Um, I'm not sure if my light's working, but anyway, it was just another idea. While they're flowering um, and it's warm, we're safe. We can, so long as they've got sunlight, this is an east facing window. So they're gonna get uh, the full sun in the mornings, but the sun isn't very strong at all. So it's just a nice amount of light for them to enjoy. And then the sun goes around in my house. I have the south window, facing window, and the west facing window. So they're, they're away from the, the full glare of the sun, but all the light is coming in. And um, so it's just a nice way of displaying them in the daytime so that you can see them in the uh, early evenings while we've still got the, the lighter nights and um, just enjoy your orchids. Um, and that's another way of doing it. And um, you know you can you can do something else. You could um, you could step them on the window sill. I'm not sure if I can quickly do it. You know, pot. Sorry about this. Oh, rush over.
Maybe small. Oops. Move the flowers away. I mean the ornaments that is. And there we have a kind of sloping effect. You can do that as well. To have one that's higher than this one. If you see what I mean. So you can get a kind of sloped effect, a gradient of height, which is quite nice. So I just thought I'd show you a few ideas for the window sills and to not worry too much about your orchids being in the lounge. Um, so long as it doesn't get overwhelmingly hot and and you've got you know you've got some air during the day and you with your windows open, but don't put them on a south or even a west facing windowsill directly because they really cannot take direct sun. So with that I thought there might be sales and I might show you how and I am yet fully back in a minute. And, and here we have the, uh, the bedroom setting. This is my Singolo and she is a Phalaenopsis. She has a lovely big flower head, a couple of flowers at a time. She's really lovely and uh, she's so nice there uh, next to the bed. And you know the flowers, they go on for a few months, it's just so lovely. So you could have a fancy pot rather than just a, you know, a white pot like I often have. Uh, you could have something that tones in with your bedroom. Um, and if you've got a, a fragrant um, uh, Phalaenopsis or, or one of the other orchids that have a wonderful fragrance, I mean that would be lovely wouldn't it? But if not, just waking up and seeing that lovely orchid next to you, it sets the tone, doesn't it, for the day. And you feel like you've made more of an effort with your room and this is your, your bedroom. I just think it's so feminine, so lovely. And um, anyway, I just thought I'd show you this one. Um, and so now I've just come into the bathroom and I've just arranged the, the bathroom window a little bit because um, you know, there's always something on the window still, isn't there, in the bathroom. But this bathroom, mine, it faces the north. So as it faces north, um, I don't have to worry really. And I can put my orchid on my windowsill while she's in flower and uh, just enjoy her. And I think that's what we all have to do. We all have to remember that we can put our orchids, when they're flowering, in um, safe zones. They don't have to be where they were when they were growing because once they're flowering, they're just relaxing with their flowers, so to speak. Um, and then once the flowering ends, obviously they go into another growth mode or a rest and then growth. So then obviously you should put them in the right place. But while they're flowering, let's enjoy them. This is the bathroom window here. I just thought I'd do a quick shot um, just to show you what I've done really. And so I thought I'd show you uh, a little setup in the lounge that uh, I do sometimes uh, with my coffee table. Um, I put my orchid and a few chosen ornaments um, on my coffee table. This is a little table by the armchair as opposed to the centre of the room. And I'm just going to step over here. It's a beam in the way, I'm sorry. And, you know, you just look, make it look nice, a book, some potpourri, painting, and your orchids just look lovely. I think they just look lovely. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, you know, it's nice to think about where we can put our orchids. It's lovely to have them and you, the wonder of when they finally bloom and you see them and it goes on for a few months. It's never just a week like ordinary cut flowers. They do last and they go on and on and that's the beauty of them. But um, anyway, I thought I'd do the styling video today because it's nice to see them in different arrangements and in different places in our home. And there are lots of other areas we could be putting them. I've just done a few today. Um, so, you know, um, leave some comments. Uh, tell me if you enjoy styling your video, uh, your orchids or, um, if you want some more orchid video styling um, videos, I'd love to do them. Um, and I will be doing more videos uh, on the care of our orchids 
um, and I also have some other orchids that are going to be uh, flowering soon um, so when those flare I will do another video so I hope you really enjoyed it and um, if you could like and subscribe and that really helps the channel and thank you for everything bye, bye.